Hey, what's up? This is a message to my baby mothers. Baby mother number one. Hey, Barbara Marsh, can I please see our son? You know I would marry you. You know I'd be with you. You know that we'd be a family right now. If I had the universe my way, I fucking love you, Barbara Marsh. Can I see my son today? Contact me, okay? You can reach me at selkirk1gmail.com, okay? Just like reach me get reach out to me like I, I love you Barbara and we you told me that we're gonna have this baby and we're gonna be a family together so I mean like since you can't keep that promise the least you can do is allow me to see my son I'll take my son today and then I'll take him to my grandmother's to go visit his grandmother and we'll visit for a couple of hours okay just, just let me see my son I'm I fucking miss my son that's baby mom number one. <laughs> baby mama number two. Roxanne, I miss my daughter. Uh, you got mad at me because Sydney came back into my life telling me that she loves me and stuff like that. And like, we haven't talked since then. So I just, I would just like to say like, I love you Roxanne, can I please see my daughter? I miss my daughter, I love my daughter. She matters to me, she's important. Just like my son's important, just like my other possible daughter is important, okay? So Roxanne, Biggity, get back to me as soon as you can. You know my phone number. You know my phone number, you know what it is, you know it. So I love you, Roxanne. Get back to me so I can see my daughter. Please and thank you. Love you. I hope whatever, if you're in a relationship right now, if you're doing your thing, like, I hope it's going swimmingly. You know, like, I hope it's great. Thank you. I love you. Thank you, Roxanne. And now for my third baby mother, for my third baby mother, uh, here's some proof that we've been together and here's some proof that, like, she was telling me that she's loving me. Here you go. So yeah, like those, like we've been together basically since like New Year's Eve, more or less, like New, like around New Year's, right? And it's like, that's a bit earlier than what I said before, but that's more or less it, right? Like we've been together since the New Year. So, but like, ultimately though, like she cheated on me with Raimi when my cum was still warm inside of her kind of thing, which is totally fucked up. But here's the zinger, here's the fucking zinger. Yesterday my doctor told me that I have gonorrhea that I got from Darian Sydney Chief. So I like I just want to say like hey Darian this is a message to you like go get amoxicillin right fucking now and stop spreading your fucking disease okay stop fucking doing that shit I love you we can be a family together as soon as you're fucking all healed up and all that shit from the fucking disease you fucking been spreading to people okay like like seriously like you go get the medicine you need you go get treated and then like after like a week of antibiotics it'll be gone and then we'll like we'll get back together for Valentine's Day we'll make love on Valentine's Day and we'll be the family that you promised me we'll be the family that you that you've been telling me that we are you've literally told me I'm loyal to you Darren you're all mine Darren you know you're my one and only Darren and then when I pointed it out that I'm your one and only that's when things started getting sour right like like, the fact that I keep telling you you have to be loyal if you want to be in a relationship with me. The fact that I keep telling you that it has to be one-on-one. -on -one, but, like, you keep saying that, oh, yeah, I'm loyal to you, Darren. I'm loyal to you. You literally have sworn on our daughter's life. I don't even know if that's my daughter, by the way. But, like, you have literally sworn on our, on our daughter's life. You looked me in the eye and you said, I swear on Cam's life. I never cheated on you. But you cheated on me with Raimi. So, I like, I need you to build your character just a little bit more like let's be let's be a family together when we sort our shit out in terms of like the antibiotics and all that stuff but like i need you to be a better person okay for our daughter for me for our relationship for our family okay I, that's what i need from you i need you to stop fucking spreading the clap to everybody and like if you want to be a family after we're like healed up from this fucking bullshit that you fucking put us in and you know like like I get that you're addicted to meth. I get that you're addicted to hard drugs. I get that you're that kind of person. But like, you know, like, I want to help you because I love you and I care about you. I want to be a family with you because I love you and I care about you. So if you want that too, you know what you have to do. You have to be like publicly, hey, Darren's my man and we're a family together. Everybody else that like thinks otherwise or anybody else that wants to like protest it, like they can go fuck themselves. That's what I need from you, because like, 
I'm trying to better my life and like, I hope you want to better your life. And if you want a life together, that's what we're going to have to do. Honesty is literally the key. You got to stop being such a liar. You got to stop being such a cheat. You got to stop being such a manipulator. Like you got to stop doing that. You fucked Raimi. You fucked another guy this weekend when you were doing meth at Tyro. Like that's what you're, that's what you do. Like Tyro is a place for family. Tyro is literally a place for like people who don't have everything that they need to like, you know, like cover their rent and stuff like that. So the Canadian government helps them. And the fact that you abuse that system by doing that kind of fucking hard drug in that kind of place, you know, like, like this Saturday, like what the fuck is your problem? I love you, but knock off the meth, knock off all of that fucking lying and cheating shit that you do, and let's be a family, or just be honest with me. Be honest. If you don't want to be a family, let me know, because you've been telling me all month that you want to be a family. You've been telling me all month that we are a family. If you want that, you be honest and you tell me that. If otherwise, then you be honest and you tell me that. That's it. No more fucking secrets. Okay? Love you. Fuck.